How to create settings in the USB Autoscope software for other probes, sensors, or transducers. Part 1. Introduction. The USB Autoscope software is equipped with tools that allow for the conversion of transducer output voltage into the units measured by the transducer. The USB Oscilloscope program includes a standard list of supported sensors. However, it can be expanded in several ways. One method is by activating additional options during the program installation, which are by default disabled. To convert the voltage into the units measured by the transducer, it is necessary to specify the name of the transducer with which the signal was obtained. This can be done using the drop-down list of names located in the settings panel of the respective channel. Let's consider the list of sensors in this list. The first two settings are used with APA 32, 36T, 39T series current clamps. These clamps have two operating ranges, 1 mV or 10 mV output voltage per 1 ampere of current passing through. There is a switch on the body of the clamps that allows you to select the appropriate range. Large current clamps are convenient for use, for example, when testing a car's electrical supply system or checking the fuel pump coolant fan or heater fan. These two settings pertain to outdated sensors and are no longer relevant. The next setting is for working with CTIM and CTI 50 current clamps. These clamps have a sensitivity range of 100 millivolts per ampere and are used for non-contact measurement of both AC and DC currents from 10 milliamperes to 50 amperes. The CTI-50 clamps have a wider bandwidth, up to 500 kHz, and better signal-to-noise ratio. Both sensors feature a zero-setting function and are designed for in-depth diagnostics of both diesel and gasoline engines. They allow for the measurement of control current pulses in diesel injectors, high-pressure gasoline injectors, and the acquisition of current waveforms in other actuating mechanisms of the engine control system. In diagnosing diesel engines, they are also used for synchronization to the first cylinder or any other cylinder. If the user does not have CTI or APA series clamps, similar models from other manufacturers like Hantec, Techpel, AEMC, etc. can be used. Most commonly available are clamps with sensitivities of 1 mV per 1 ampere and 1 mV per 100 mA. If your model has a different sensitivity, such as 1 mV per 1 mA or 1 mV per 10 mA, there is no need to create such a setting since it is already available in the program. The DX setting is necessary for working with the DX vacuum transducer and for displaying the vacuum graph in units of bar. The next three settings are intended for use with the PX8 transducer, which is gray and designed for use with the USB autoscope light. The PX8 transducer is of the absolute type, measuring pressure in the range of minus 0.95 to 8 bar. The PX8 setting is meant for use with the PX8 transducer without any adapter. The PX8 Plus Flex setting is designed for use with the PX8 transducer and a flexible extension, PX Flex. The PX8 Plus Longer setting is intended for use with the PX8 transducer and a metal deep well adapter, either PX Longer M14 or M12. The reason for having three different modes for one transducer is that the program accounts for the acoustic delay introduced by the pneumatic channel of the used adapter and compensates for it. Therefore, it is important to correctly select the type of accessory being used. The next three settings are necessary for working with the more commonly used Black PX35 pressure transducer, designed for use with the USB Autoscope 4. These settings convert the transducer's output voltage into units of bar. The PX35 transducer is of the absolute type, with a measurement range of minus 0.85 to 35 bar. Like the PX8 transducer, the PX35 has three types of settings, without deep well adapter and with adapter or flexible extension. The PX Diesel setting is intended for use with the diesel pressure transducer PX Diesel 
and converts the transducer's output voltage into units of bar. This transducer is currently under development. The next setting is for an outdated transducer and is no longer relevant. The settings WPS 500 by 1 plus flex and WPS 500 by 1 plus longer are designed for use with the WPS 500 transducer in the first measurement mode, ranging from minus 1 to 34.47 bar, minus 15 to 500 psi, and they convert the transducer's output voltage into units of bar. The WPS 500 by 1 plus flex type is intended for use with the transducer along with a flexible extension. The WPS 500 by 1 plus longer type is intended for use with the transducer along with a metal deep well adapter. The DX plus amp setting is designed for using the DX transducer together with the DX amplifier signal amplifier. This setting does not convert the signal voltage into the unit of bar. Part 2. Pressure Transducers Users of USB autoscope devices often ask how to create your own custom probe. We will show a couple of examples of how to set this up. First example, we use the MPX5700 AP Absolute Pressure Transducer with a measurement range from 0 to 700 kPa. We soldered this transducer onto a board equipped with a 5 volts power supply and an XLR pin 3 connector for connection to the universal cable for USB Autoscope 4 according to the pinout. We want to use this transducer with the USB oscilloscope program. Let's look at how to configure the display of its signal in kilopascal. To do this, open the control menu and select Units Type Setup. The left column of the list displays the type name where we enter the name of the transducer. The right column shows the corresponding units of measurement where we specify kilopascal. The formula field allows us to set a formula for converting the input units into the specified units. This transducer has a linear output characteristic, so creating a formula will be sufficient using just two characteristic points. We open the manufacturer's documentation and find the chart showing the relationship between the output voltage and the measured absolute pressure. A voltage of 0.5 volts corresponds to a pressure of 50 kPa. A voltage of 4 volts corresponds to a pressure of 600 kPa. We open the website usbautoscope.eu slash formula and enter these values. A voltage of 0.5 volts corresponds to a pressure of 50 kPa. A voltage of 4 volts corresponds to a pressure of 600 kPa. The calculator generates a formula. We click the copy button and paste the formula into the input window. We click OK and confirm the changes. Now, the support for the new pressure transducer has been added to the program. Let's now check if everything is working correctly. We connect a pump to our transducer and the transducer to the USB autoscope input. We turn on the MPX5700 AP settings mode. The pump is equipped with a relative pressure gauge. Therefore, it initially shows zero pressure. The MPX5700 AP transducer measures absolute pressure, so it displays the current atmospheric pressure equal to 100 kPa. As we increase the pressure to 4 bar, we observe an increase in the pressure up to 500 kPa in the program window. Second example. Let's take another pressure transducer with an unknown output characteristic due to the lack of documentation. How can we determine its parameters and add support to the USB Autoscope software? To generate the formula, we need to specify two points. We'll take the first point at the current atmospheric pressure. According to the readings of a weather station barometer, the atmospheric pressure at the moment is 737 millimeters of mercury, which corresponds to 14.25 psi. At this pressure, 
The output voltage of the transducer is 622 millivolts. When the pressure is increased to 103 psi, the output voltage of the transducer reaches 1.44 volts. Remember, we are creating a formula for an absolute pressure transducer, and the compressor screen displays relative pressure. Therefore, to convert the relative pressure readings on the compressor screen to the absolute pressure we need, we must add the value of the current atmospheric pressure, which is now 14.2 psi, to the values displayed on the screen. We will name this transducer DIY. The unit of measurement will be PSI. A voltage of 622 millivolts corresponds to an absolute pressure of 14.2 PSI. A voltage of 1.438 volts corresponds to an absolute pressure of 117.2 psi. We insert the generated formula. Similarly, we press the OK button and confirm the changes. That's it. Support for the new pressure transducer has been added to the program. Part 3. Current Transducers. How to create your own custom probe. The HST-023R Hall Effect DC-AC current transducer is designed to measure both alternating and direct currents up to 50 amperes. This model has an analog output of plus or minus 4 volts, and unlike SCT-006 or SCT-013 transducers, it can measure direct current, which is crucial for working with automotive signals. The transducer requires a bipolar voltage source of plus or minus 12 volts for power. We use a modular DC-DC converter to power it. The analog output of the transducer is connected to the USB Autoscope 4. At a current of 0 amperes, the output voltage of its signal is 0.236 volts. To increase the range of measurable current, we wound 11 turns of test wire around the core of the transducer. As a result, the sensitivity of the transducer increased by 11 times. We pass a current of 4 amperes through the test conductor. The output voltage level of the transducer increased to 3.77 volts. We create a transducer named HST023 with the unit of measurement amperes. The prefix it before the unit of measurement is replaced in the display of the current value with prefixes nano, micro, milli, kilo, mega. If the it prefix is not specified, values are displayed without a prefix. We generate the formula and copy the result. The argument limitation group is optional and defines the range of permissible values for the output signal voltage of the transducer. If the signal voltage exceeds this range, the calculation is ignored and ellipsis is displayed on the screen. For our transducer, we enter a minimum of minus 4 volts and a maximum of 4 volts. We press OK and save the setting. We then check the operation. Next example. A resistor with a resistance of 0.1 ohm 
which we will use as a shunt for measuring current. Let's add a new transducer, name it shunt, and set the unit of measurement to amperes. We'll create a formula for the shunt. The first two values we enter are zero volts, which corresponds to zero amperes. According to Ohm's law, the amount of electric current flowing through a resistor is directly proportional to the voltage applied across it and inversely proportional to the resistance of the resistor. In other words, a voltage of 0.3 volts is required to drive a current of 3 amperes through a resistance of 0.1 ohm. We enter the next two values, 0.3 volts and 3 amperes. We generate the formula and copy it into the program. We connect the shunt to a current source and conduct measurements. A slight discrepancy between the readings from the program and the built-in ammeter of the power supply could be due to the insufficient accuracy of the ammeter or a deviation in the actual resistance of the shunt from the value indicated on its casing.